guys, it's Miss Anne Susie here with another story to read to you. Today's book features what I have on my head here, a ponytail. It's one of my favorite stories. I read it every year I was a teacher in Virginia. So if you were in my first grade class in Virginia, you may remember me putting boys hair into ponytails <laughs> because of this book. The book is called Stephanie's Ponytail. It's a wonderful book and I don't wanna to give too much away but it's all about a girl and her ponytail, which sounds strange, but it's really good. Let's get started. Stephanie's Ponytail, story by Robert Munch, art by Michael Marchenko. One day, Stephanie went to her mom and said, none of the kids in my class have a ponytail. I want a nice ponytail coming right out the back. So Stephanie's mom gave her a nice ponytail coming right out the back. When Stephanie went to school, the other kids looked at her and said, ugly, ugly, very ugly. Stephanie said, it's my ponytail and I like it. The next morning, when Stephanie went to school, all the other girls had ponytails coming out the back. Stephanie looked at them and said, you are all a bunch of copycats. You just do whatever I do. You don't have a brain in your heads. The next morning, the mom said, Stephanie, would you like a ponytail coming out the back? Stephanie said, no. Then that's that, said her mom. That's the only place you can do ponytails. No, it's not, said Stephanie. I want one coming out of the side just above my ear. Very strange, said the mom. Are you sure that is what you want? Yes, said Stephanie. So her mom gave Stephanie a nice ponytail coming out right above her ear. When she went to school, the other kids saw her and said, ugly, ugly, very ugly. Stephanie said, it's my ponytail and I like it. The next morning, when Stephanie came to school, all the girls and even some of the boys had nice ponytails coming out just above their ears. The next morning, the mom said, Stephanie, would you like a ponytail coming out the back? Stephanie said, no. Would you like one coming out the side? No. Then that's that, said her mom. There is no other place you can do ponytails. Yes, there is, said Stephanie. I want one coming out of the top of my head like a tree. That's very, very strange, said her mom. Are you sure that is what you want? Yes, said Stephanie. So her mom gave Stephanie a nice ponytail coming out of the top of her head like a tree. When Stephanie went to school, the other kids saw her and said, ugly, ugly, very ugly. Stephanie said, it's my ponytail and I like it. The next day, all of the girls and all of the boys had ponytails coming out the top. It looked like broccoli was growing out of their heads. The next morning, the mom said, Stephanie, would you like a ponytail coming out the back? Stephanie said, no. Would you like one coming out of the side? No. Would you like one coming out of the top? No. Then that is definitely that, said the mom. There is no other place you can do ponytails. Yes, there is, said Stephanie. I want one coming out the front and hanging down in front of my nose. But nobody will know if you are coming or going, her mom said. Are you sure that is what you want? Yes, said Stephanie. So her mom gave Stephanie a nice ponytail coming out the front. On the way to school, she bumped into four trees, three cars, two houses, and one principal. When she finally got to her class, the other kids saw her and said, Ugly, ugly, very ugly. Stephanie said, It's my ponytail 
And I like it. The next day, all of the girls and all of the boys and even the teacher had ponytails coming out the front and hanging down in front of their noses. None of them could see where they were going. They bumped into the desks and they bumped into each other. They bumped into the walls and, by mistake, three girls went into the boys' bathroom. Stephanie yelled, you are a bunch of brainless copycats. You just do whatever I do. When I come tomorrow, I'm going to have shaved my head. The first person to come the next day was the teacher. She had shaved her head and she was bald. The next to come were the boys. They had shaved their heads and they were bald. The next to come were the girls. They had shaved their heads and they were bald. The last person to come was Stephanie and she had a nice little ponytail coming right out the back. The end. Number one, can you name all the different kinds of ponytails that Stephanie had in order? The answer to number one was ponytail in the back, ponytail on the side, ponytail on top, ponytail down the front, and then she had a ponytail in the back when everyone else shaved their heads. Number two, can you think of a different kind of ponytail? The writing prompt. In this story, Stephanie plays a trick on the kids at school. Have you ever played a trick on someone? All right, guys, thanks so much for listening to our story today, Stephanie's Ponytail. And if you were inspired to create a Stephanie's Ponytail or make a new Stephanie's Ponytail, um, leave me a picture in the comments. I'd love to see what it looks like. Have a great day, bye.